Hello and welcome to our penetration testing for group 5. Uh, this is uh, in regards of our project. So we'll start, I have already started the Wireshark Network Analyzer and I have also opened a web browser. Uh, before starting with our penetration testing, I'll, I'll, I'll see if our wireless network a wireless NIC interface has a, a promiscuous mode enabled or not. So for checking that, we can go to a capture tab and we'll go to options. This will open the capture options. And uh, <clears throat> we can see here that for our wireless IC uh, interface, promiscuous mode is enabled. And also, and this is a default setting for the Wireshark network analyzer that all of the interfaces will have the promiscuous mode enabled. So we are good for now and we'll start with the packet tracing. So the tracing have been start started and we'll and now I, I'll try to open oh, my connect com and I'll try to log in and we'll see what happens and we'll also uh, try opening Facebook and go to marketplace and we'll see some cars uh, maybe iPhones also go to our dashboard or oh, it's already logged in so I can log out and try again and uh, I'll also try streaming service that's a Netflix go to my account Let's see something of some sort what I'm about to tell you might be a little and uh, this is my dashboard for my connect and uh, we can see here we have captured almost 20 29,000 records And we'll, we'll stop. It is just right. Or it is not eighty thousand. So we'll stop with uh, uh, the packet tracing in this session, and we'll start to analyze some of the packets and what they contain. So, firstly, <coughs> uh, this is a very uh, user-friendly uh, GUI, uh, graphical user interface and uh, this is also open source so everyone can do it, anyone can do it. So the first column of this uh, are the numbers, number of packets traced from 1 to up till 30,000 and the second column tells the time uh, precise time and the third one it is source destiny as uh, source IP address or my IP address and this is the destination IP address and uh, for the fifth column we have the protocols so we can see here TCP uh, transmission total protocol we also have HTTP yes yeah we have HTTP as HTTP CMP, we have uh, DNS, domain name servers, and uh, all other. And the last one tells us the information about the packets. <clears throat> so we we'll try to filter our search to specific uh, 
tickets so for that I will uh, I want to search for HTTP uh, packets only and I'll see the requested ones for now we'll see um, so here are the search results and you can see here yeah, this is interesting a login one login.php so for more information about this packet I can right click and these are all the options you can go you can decode as uh, so we'll go to follow and tcp stream so this will give a more raw information about this packet so there's some text here with blue and green colors blue uh, color or the red color rather means this is my request and the blue ones are the response so I requested here login uh, host was uh, myconnect.com and uh, connection was keep alive and user agent or my browser was edge and uh, this is all all information about my end and this is the response uh, 200 okay means that I was granted access and this is the date and server uh, Ananda and Ubuntu and this all here are encrypted data there were some request and response and uh, so from this we can know that the I requested or the host requested uh, my computer requ requested a login page of my connect.com and I was also granted access so we'll close this for now and we'll see some other oh, you can see this one HTTP follow and go to HTTP stream so I requested login page my connect these are all the same from the previous packet and the response was the web page Uh, user interface for that packet was here this is where uh, this packet was uh, responsible to responsible for viewing the or showing the web page on the website so we'll go again and we'll see public key begin public Okay. so these are all encrypted here all encrypted data and we can see a success here so I was granted access through my to my username and password so if this was not me and this was somebody outside my house using my computer and my Wi-Fi he would have been uh, able to know that I log into my connect.com and I was successfully granted access to my account so this is the power of Wireshark and also you can do many other things with this you can also search or see if a person is doing a downloads for files or streaming or video something sort like sort and also uh, we have to use as an as an 
security expert or as a cyber security expert we should know the basics at least the basics of uh, Wireshark and other such applications that uh, show vulnerabilities um, thank you for listening I hope this uh, short presentation was a eventful and informative one uh, thank you